Okay, so we're gonna demonstrate how to unload the syringe. So first thing that you wanna do is you're gonna unscrew the needle. So when I unscrew a needle from a syringe, I grab the cap, I press down as I unscrew it. The reason is if you're pulling as you're unscrewing, the cap can fly off, okay? You're gonna be more likely to get a needle stick. So I always press down almost as if you were screwing it on, but I unscrew it as I'm pressing down. That is to ensure the cap is staying on the syringe and you're not at risk of it flying off. So I'm gonna press down, turn it towards me. As I can see the thread showing, I'm gonna grasp it at the base of the needle. I'm not gonna hold the cap. I'm gonna grasp it at the base, pull straight out, okay? Now, this can be inserted directly into a sharps container if you have those in each operatory. If you do not, you can use the cap to recap it. So here's our cap, so we're gonna do the scoop method. Okay, there we go. That is to ensure safety so that nobody gets stuck. This whole thing is gonna go into the sharps container. No, we still have our, our needle, our, our cartridge left. So what you're gonna do with this, um, to disengage the harpoon, that little arrow from your rubber stopper, you're gonna wanna pull back on um, the syringe. So you wanna do it quickly. If you don't, the harpoon will stay in that rubber stopper. That whole rubber stopper can come out and the anesthetic will leak out if there's any remaining. So what you wanna do, you wanna take it, you wanna pull it quickly so it's gonna disengage. Usually we'll hear a click. Hear that click? So now it's disengaged. Again, in order for it to come out, I have to pull and then it will slide out, okay? Just like that. And then this also will go in the sharps container. It is glass. So if we put it in a regular trash can, it can break, it can cut whoever's handling the trash, it can pierce through the, um, the trash bag. So any glass, any sharps, right into the sharps container. So that is our basic unloading the syringe.